That's it. Headed back. It's over, Seabold. It's over. It's over. <laughs> World champs. Yeah. Yeah. Good stuff, man. All right. Looks like we're all packed. Let's go back to US of A. Just one? Just one is open. Yeah. Good, good, good planning. Yep. All right. Oh, cool. We're out of here. How much to go, David? Eight hours. We're on a four hour drive right now. And then probably seven hours in the airport. And then a 16 and a half hour flight. Then I've got seven hours in that airport. And then I've got a five and a half hour flight. Wow. <laughs> David, we only have 10 hours, man. <laughs> it take that long to unload this shit. <laughs> I'm gonna go check out the cop car. Oh, I guess I should help unload. <laughs> Sidetracked. Look at that tactical response truck. It's pretty sweet. I like the stance of the wheels. First, that way. Hurts. They're inspecting the car, make sure everything's good before we drop it off. What are you doing, David? They're, they're saying this little scratch might be an issue, so I'm buffing it out right now. <laughs> All right, so they're working really hard to find something with the car, I guess. And we're trying to get out of here. Uh, where are you going? The airport. International. Uh, international all the way down the end, turn right. Thank you. Bye bye. All right, so we made it to the airport. And uh, <laughs> we have to wait about three hours before we can even check in our luggage. And uh, after we get through security, we have another three hours or so before we can board our plane. So the whole team is here. Both teams, TR and Open. Yep, that's how far back they go. All right, I know you can't hear, but the flight has been canceled. We have to wait two more days to get out of here fun fun so this is how it's going here it sucks all these people are trying to get out of here and they're telling us we're stuck for three days why are you so smart why are you all smiles because <laughs> what else am i gonna do <laughs> let's go safari let's go safari let's go let's go all right, we may have to go on a safari. All right, they're gonna go put us up in a hotel now. You can see everyone behind me. All right, so we made it this far. Now we gotta get all this luggage into that elevator. All right. You guys remember this? <laughs> this looks familiar, doesn't it? We were here about three weeks ago. We're right back here where we started. 
just made it into the room. Got all my luggage in here. And I guess now we sit and wait. Well, now they're saying the flight's back on. So I'm gonna go find out what the heck's going on. Supposedly they said get back and they're gonna rush us all through security because now we just lost a ton of time. So now I gotta get all my luggage back out of that room. Oh. It's crazy down here. Everybody's trying to go back now. I hope they're right. So even they're upset right now because they have no idea what's going on. They send, they send her out here with all of us and now that we got us all checked in, now they're saying the flight's back on. So now we're all trying to go back and she has no idea what's going on. All right, getting myself back to the terminal. All right, so we're back and look at the line now. Yeah, yeah. Oh my goodness. So I left my luggage over there. Had David watching it. I'm going back to help Todd. All right, so now we're all back over here. Uh, Todd's in line, finally. <laughs> and you can see what's going on here. So yeah, this is gonna be interesting because we gotta check. So now we have, what, three hours? Supposedly. Three hours, supposedly. And now we gotta check all these rifles. Look at all these rifles on the line. As far as the eye can see. So this is gonna be interesting for sure. All right, we made it through security in record time, right, David? <laughs> yes, record time. <laughs> feeling pretty good already <laughs> all right made it to the lounge now we're gonna go get some wine and sit back and relax a bit there you go pinot Let's do it right there. Hey, Todd made it. <laughs> all right, so now we're at the gate. And for some reason, we're getting checked all over again. And just everybody. And the line is long again. Well, Phil, we finally made it, buddy. Great trip, Eric, man. Yeah. It was pretty cool to come. We represented America well. And uh, you guys, of course, uh, world champions. Yeah. Congratulations. Thank you. Yes, sir. You guys shot your asses off. Well, thank you. It just didn't work out. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. The South Africans defended their home turf, but yeah, uh, for sure. it's great to travel together and be one team and show the world who we are. Yes, sir. Exactly. All right. This has been quite a trip. So uh, we'll see you, I guess, back in the U.S. I just like, like to make a special announcement. My name is well, Dawn. I'm your person. And I just found out from a couple of um, wonderful gentlemen that are in our first class section up here tonight. They told me that the USA F-Class rifle team are on board and a big round of applause. They're going home with winning a gold medal and two silver medals. Well, we finally landed. Made it home, the the USA. Home. Well, we're USA, not home yet, but uh, almost there. Well, Ken, what'd you think, man? Well, when you're world champions, it's pretty successful. It all right. worked out. I would say so. All right, now we got to get to customs. First things first. So we came to customs through there. They're giving us our passports back. And then from there, we go here. This is where we're going to claim our rifles. All right, so the luggage is over here. The rifles are over here. And everybody's lining up. Some of us have very short layovers. And this is not going anywhere. As you can tell, long line. Well, I finally got through 
missed my connecting flight, had to reschedule that. And I think that happened to most or a lot of the members. So anyway, now I got three more hours to kill, but everything went through and uh, <laughs> make sure you have your 4457 form with you. You need to have one with you in your hand and then you need to have one in your gun case. Uh, I was missing one and boy was he pissed. Uh, he said he could actually confiscate my rifle. I would need a broker to get it back, you know, this, that, and the other. So luckily because I was with the team and there was a lot of people there, he's like, okay, well, I'm gonna let it slide. But if you were not with the team, you would be in deep shit. So be careful, carry your 4457s with you and a copy inside the rifle case. So crowded. Anyway, I'm gonna go kick my feet up for a little bit, have some drinks with David while I wait for my flight. You think we're ever gonna get home? Uh, maybe. <laughs> All right, so we're looking for gate B16 so we can board the last leg home. I've been on the road or in the air for 40 hours so far. Got about four to six more to go. All right, so I just, <clears throat> just landed in San Antonio. Feels pretty good. I'm almost home. It's been over 40 hours since I left South Africa, the hotel and Bloemfontein. So uh, can't wait to be home. Got all my bags now. Time to go home. All right, I finally made it home after close to 45 hours. <laughs> finally home. By the way, did I mention that I was remodeling the reloading room while I was away? Obviously I wasn't doing it, but I was having it done. Anyway, I'll show you this some other day. That's it. Keep them centered. <laughs> I'm exhausted. Bye.